Hello there, Internet. I am your host, the GMA. Welcome we'll go back to some Let's Play! Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance. We left off. We basically had to fight a through a bunch of assholes in Crimea who are the citizens of Crimea. Really, really are racist towards furries. Uh, had another run in with the Black Knight and, well, ended up getting on a boat. Surrounded by bird lagoons who want to kill us. Yeah. Normally I'd let... Oh yeah, I don't like fi water fire emblem. Uh, this counts as two spaces, so shooting from here counts as two spaces, so... Right there. See? Red. That means there. She goes back there. Uh... I mean, normally I'm not. I'm half worried about Marcia getting violently killed by uh, some toasters. And he's gonna run. Yeah, so funny story. Actually, I uh, had uh, one time. Okay, uh... Yeah, they're very, very squishy. Uh... We got Lagoo Stone. Okay, but set out combat. Set out combat. Yeah, one time, the last time I played this game, Race actually survived like a fatal blow. Oh no. I hate this chapter a lot. Uh, so this time I brought back Titania again. Uh. Uh. Yeah, another reason why I don't like Braum very much is because, uh, He's kind of the reason one of the one that uh, Meg appears. Okay, so in Radiant Dawn, he has a daughter named, basically, in his supports with Bra with uh, Zyhark, which he has for some reason. he has for some reason basically he's 
he re he basically takes on leggings like Harkin ass says that he would like one of his daughters to marry him one day. Uh, that daughter becomes one of the most despised units in all of Radiant Dawn. Meg. So, Radiant Dawn, so as I said before, up until around, I guess, Awakening? But Nintendo made a, made a bunch of thing, changes to the Fire Emblem formula to try and uh, make it appeal to new, people new to the... Well, Nintendo America would often change Fire Emblem stuff to try and make it easier for Western audiences. Uh, just lower stats. For this game, the, the Maniac difficulty, which is the hardest set difficulty, if you aren't aware, was flat out removed in favor of a of the easy difficulty which I'm playing on. Uh All right. <sighs> Caught up at last. I'll do this on my own. I'll not let him escape. I what are giant birds? Disgusting. Could they be Bird half breeds. It's weird that she's not a red unit. I feel like she, she he was meant to be a red unit. some point. But basically, Meg, Radiant Dawn, for some reason, Nintendo didn't do anything to change Radiant Dawn. So... Even what makes it even worse is that the difficulty settings are still easy, normal, and hard. But there's a problem. It's the Japanese original, so American easy is Japanese normal. American normal is Japanese hard. And American hard is Japanese maniac, which is balls deep. Yeah, and even worse, yeah, and it's Ray and Dawn didn't do anything to make the game difficult easier. And this is kind of what led to that game's reputation of being one of the harder games in the series. And as the guy who survived, yes. But it's not the hardest Wii game. That goes to Trauma Center's second opinion. Play well, like a second opinion? You're also ugly! Damn it! might need that Seraph robe. Yeah, boat maps. There's something of a meme. 
in the fan base. Okay, he's moving. Oh! Uh, f Why? Okay, bizarrely, Rolf survived. Yeah, weird how Rolf is doing better than Nephany. more her Okay, uh, let's see, not bad, not bad, Rolf. Okay, if you're wondering what coins do, they, uh, they're not really useful. He got wind magic up, but uh, now he's at sea level. Uh, Dead. I won't even be surprised if Oscar uh, survived. Gets MVP again. <laughs> kind of funny how he is like, ending up more like Titania than. Uh... Uh, I 
All right, here. <sighs> Why are you lollygagging around? <sighs> I am Jill Fizzard, Wyvern Army, Wyvern Rider of Dane. Attached to Commander Har's battalion. I offer a truce. I cannot sit by and allow all human to be attacked by subhuman degenerates. I will fight you. You accept no help from the Danish. This is no place for foolish pride. At this rate, some humans will devour you. I will not accept any high who thinks that the goos are subhuman. What are you battling about? I'm on your side. We can talk about these clothes. Lead the half breed. Oh, what's going on? So now we have. Uh. Jill. Jill is awesome. She is a wyvern rider, and she actually has uh, two things. Basically, she has a t this item, the Lagoose Guard, which is similar to Leaf's. I mean, to. Yeah, Leaf. It's a uh, Bayork Guard. It protects her from. Uh, attacks from the Lagoose. And she is, is a wyvern rider. Basically, they're the exact opposite of the of the Pegasus Riders, whereas Pegasus Riders are often fragile and usually focus more on speed and skill, Wyvern Riders focus more on strength and defense, and usually they use axes, but uh, they also, this time they use lances, I think their promoted form uses them. A major, and if I'm correct, they're weak against lightning, uh, too, I think. All right, uh. Remember, we need to get any, any uh, HP we can. Uh. Hey, I'll let you know this you ain't a uh, serial killer. Okay, yeah, he's on the prowl. Dead. Ooh, strength and a secret book. Yeah, Rolf is like in my eyes, like, one of the most overhated units.
Shrek is in... Alright, I'm probably not gonna risk. There. Okay, never mind. Uh, Ah, sh damn. I think I might be the last reinforcements. Thunder away. Joke's on you. And so I wake up in the morning and it's about side I... So I wake up in the morning and it's the best side. I gotta get up and get real high. Then I drop at the top of my lungs. What's going on? And I said, Hey, yeah, I'm falling. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. I said, Hey, what's going on? All right, we get blue gems, which are, oh, money. I can't believe it was a dream. Hushback, it's all. Just keep it inside. Dead. It just bears for a thing. Oh well. Alright, let's see. Uh, I. Damn it, though, I wanted that to be a crit. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> at least probably getting angry at me right now. I'm gonna get an arm scroll, which, uh... I'm probably not gonna waste on Rolf as much as I would like to. I'll probably give it to Nephany so she can use some decent stuff. Is they're all right? I'll check on the injuries. Those crows make fierce opponents. Nasir, how's the ship holding? Completely immobilized. We can't take it. Check free of this reef. I feel useless waking around here. I can seriously do some help. Where are you going? Would you be leading the ship? There's something I can do sitting around here. We'll get ashore. We'll see what I can do. Ike, hold on. Full kid, that's Ike behind you. You there. What are you doing here? Huh? This could be trouble. This is Goldua territory. Outsiders are not permitted. Wait, you don't understand. Our ship ran aground, and there's nothing we can do. We're stuck here. Then return your ship. What happens to Bayark is none of our affair. 
That's ridiculous. You're complete. You've been warned. I'll be warned a second time. Hey! Cease this at once. What do you think you're doing? Oh my god, it's Chris Undertale! My lord prince. Man of the Bay Ark. My countrymen were discourteous. I ask that you forgive them. Where are you? I am Kurthnaga, Prince of Goldoa. The prince? Now we're getting somewhere. Thanks to the kill of the pirates, our ships are on the ground. Can you let us any help? What's it? Can't help us, can you? I am not to being addressed in such a direct manner. I was taken off guard. My apologies. It kind of reminds me of Starfire from Teen Titans. No, I can't. If someone should apologize here, it's me. My father had a great deal to say about lack of etiquette. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Please, pay it to no mind. Or, you know, Bridget in uh, Three Houses. She also had that weird foreign thing of hers. I am more concerned with misfortune your journey has met. Of late, the ravens have grown ever more barbarous, and this cannot stand. My father will lodge a formal protest with Kilvis, I assure you. In the meantime, we shall help you with your ship. Gareth, direct the others to push their ship free. At what? Dragons on a ship! That looks like a D&D &D thing. Oh yeah, my friend at work actually, he knows I like Fire Emblem, and uh, even though I haven't been long since moved on from the Fire Emblem fandom, he gave me a shirt that... He gave me like a notebook based on uh, Black Eagles, and he gave me a shirt... Even though it had, it had Ike on it, it had the GPA logo, but hey, it was unofficial anyway, so I'm not even that annoyed. Dragons! They're all dragons! They're huge! And so strong! It's incredible! That's overwhelming! Yeah, it is. Goldoa's the land of the dragons. There are more than more than any other Lagoos tribe. They are known for their longevity. I've heard that Goldoans live long. I heard tales of Godoa still living in the skies when the goddess herself still walked by it. How did he know so much about Godoa? Everything I've read from the books, Godoa itself no longer had any contact with the outside world. So... Japan, basically! Seeing them now, it's like a dream. So, it is good fortune. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we sure got lucky. For once, your recklessness got yourself out of trouble. What's that supposed to mean? We moved the ship cl Ip. Ip, and without harm to you or your vessel. My subjects tell me your ship was indeed lodged itself against the reef. However, your ship had n there there are no structural damage to your ship. You need no not interrupt your journey. It's good news, thanks. Is there anything else you require if you need fresh food or water? You can replenish your supplies. Yeah, we must appreciate it. We are running low on water. And alcohol. For food, fruit, meat, fish. Anything fresh would be wonderful. It shall be done. Gareth, can you see through it? Yes, at once! I know the Goldor does not engage in trade with other nations, but will there be gold payment? Do not worry about the payments. But we don't so much for us. Like, you don't let us die out here. We must repay you something. It's free courtesy itself with hospitality. Will it suffice in my explaining the actions? Hospitality? Is that for guests? As you know, Goldoa itself prefers isolation. We rarely see foreigners, especially Bayork. And we rarely even more treat them. And we more rarely do we treat with them. Chance has brought us together, and I am grateful that the opportunity. In fact, I wish we could feast a while and converse. However, my fathers will never allow it. You can't expect us to accept a generous gift. I, I, but I do. I insist that you consider it a personal gift from Goldua's prince. However, I made it uncomfortable. I made it uncomfortable if you have a decline. No, I'm not. It'll be, you'll be happy to accept your gift. I'm so pleased you understand. Captain, I cannot see your reluctant person as possible. Understood. 
Well, beg your leave. Prince Krithnaka, I will forget your kindness. Thanks. It was my pleasure. Take care. Shrek. Farewell, Bayork. May your journey be safe. Welp. Uh. Oh, wait. Hello, Rai. Get something of this. First, the raven attack us. Then a band of Goldor dragons save us. I don't understand how they're all considered a goo. Isn't that strange? No, I feel like you're saying, just as there are good and evil Bayork, there are be good and evil Lagoo as well. But there is no distinct from their appearance. It's tempting to assure each race as a whole treat intricately good or evil. Hey, that is. The beast tribes of Gallia are dragons of Goldua are very honorable. And the birds that kills the phoenix seem so cruel. It seems that so easy to reduce them all to good and evil. I'm sure I'll be something like that. Look at this Bayork. The Danish are evil, Crimeans are not. So what's that? Well, wait. There are those precious bastards that we met in the port. They weren't all honorable, I'll tell you that. It seems that they're what's good and evil. It's going to in perspective like. Many conditions are affect our judgment. Drawing a definite line is not impossible. Nasir! Where have you been? You finished our trees. I will I am more comfortable around dragons. I thought I'd be better at the stable of the cabin. My apologies. Now you mention it, Soren seems to disappear as well. Have you seen him? Perhaps he's feeling nauseated for the uncomfortable sea travel. It's not uncommon. Right, I better check out of him later. The wind is picking up. I believe we go to check with the sails. I see that. I see ourselves upon warm waters. It's a chill wind that blows these waters. Hey, Lincia. We should return to the cabin. What about you, my lord? I should stay under below a deck a while longer. I have to think about it. I won't mind. Would well, you mind if I stayed here with you? I won't bother. Ah, uh, try me. Thank you. Well, I'm afraid I must end the episode right to here. Like, subscribe, all that sexy stuff. See ya.